First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Haley Clausen. All right, so we already talked about it. Triple digits were back in the desert today, both Palm Springs and Thermal reaching a high of 101 degrees. An average high for today's date in Palm Springs would be 94. So we're still trending above normal. We're not dealing with anything too extreme. We're not talking records but it is strip, uh, triple digits. We are still dealing with those temperatures that are above average for this time of year. And today's return to the triple digits means we're adding to this count. Today marks day number seven that Palm Springs has reached 100 degrees or warmer so far this year. Thankfully, we're not talking about a big stretch of triple digit temperatures. Right now, our longest uh, stretch is only three days, and really that's what we're looking to experience once again this week. Through the remainder of this evening, skies are staying clear. Sunset is at 738. Overall, we are going to be staying nice and dry and comfortable. A north, uh, northerly breeze just about 10 miles per hour, and those temperatures only cooling down into the 80s by the 9 p.m. hour. It is going to be a warm evening. Today is warmer than what we felt yesterday. So it'll be like yesterday, but it's just going to be slower to cool off. But look how dry we are. Right now, you're looking at dew points and relative humidity values. 5% relative humidity right now in Palm Desert, 8% in Indio, as well as thermal. It is dry. We're a desert. It's typically how we like it, and especially when you're seeing dew point temperatures in the 30s primarily. Yeah, your evaporative cooler is not having any issue running. A ridge of high pressure over the West Coast is the reason that we are so warm and so dry, and it's the reason we'll be staying like that as we continue through the rest of this work week. So tomorrow, as well as Friday, get ready for similar conditions exactly to what we're feeling today, except on Friday, troughing will begin to take place. This will continue to work its way down towards the south as we head into the weekend, which means it'll be strengthening our onshore flow, resulting in some stronger winds, primarily on Saturday and into Sunday. But check out those temperatures, John and Karen, dropping us down into the low 90s by Sunday. Ooh. Okay, a lot of people will like that. True. I prefer the break from the wind, but uh, <laughs> you know. It's just a quick bit of wind, and then we're warming back up. Something there for everyone. Thank you, Ailey. If you're interested,